Hello Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and Happy New Year. Let's see what is coming out for your January love forecast, Geminis, okay? I hope be lighthearted. Things are coming to light here. You're going to find some clarity. You could be mirroring each other. You're reflecting on your wounds here for the month of January. I have some new passion, heart with the key. You're going to be welcoming love for some of you. You're going to be meeting the one. Things are going to be perfect. You're going to get together here. I do have the five of swords, the tower, and the king of swords energy. Okay, I see some air sign energy. But in regards to you, here you are. Someone's thinking about you, thinking about their past mistakes. Yeah, they're going through some karma. You're going to feel a shift. You know, that's the first thing that came out, right? Be lighthearted. Things are coming to light. You're going to adapt, change, and heal. This shift is going to cause you to heal. A strong air sign energy with Aquarius and you showing up with the star card, okay? Um, what, what are you trying to tell me? Okay, I know it's read what you said. There's some unrequited love here. Stay optimistic about your love life. There's some reconciliation for some of you. Someone from your past is um, returning to your life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I see some new love, some new passion. You could have recently met someone. You could have spent the New Year's with them. There's an ex that is like still hovering around you, Gemini's, that is still trying to get in the picture, trying to get in your business, okay? You guys had a past history with each other, a lot of past history. Could have been on and off for a few years. You could have met them through school, work, or college, okay? They're trying to reconcile with you here, but I feel like you're just you know in, in your bubble for the month of january you know um this person's really um like narcissistic they're really full of themselves gemini's you know exactly who i'm talking about again there's a new engagement in regards to love you're going to be engaged into new love here it's like someone's getting their karma because you don't care anymore and it's like a certain ego death in regards to them the five of swords and the magician in reverse they can no longer manipulate you all right, Geminis. I have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Moon in reverse. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Yeah, it's this really full of shit narcissistic energy that you're just done. Like this person makes you unhappy and you're clearing out debt. Wait, you're going to see, I feel like across the 12 signs here as we go into the month of January, it's all about just dropping and clearing out dead weight. I have observed limitations and then I also have create sacred space. Yeah, it's going to be a, uh, a ongoing um, battle in regards to clearing and activating here your life. Again, dropping dead weight awakening here and creating sacred space Gemini's and then I have improvements require persistence okay I also have seek clarification okay this person comes back asks a lot of questions here if you're dating someone new ask a lot of questions all right I have the nine of pentacles in reverse with the death card yeah you're you're, you're conf you could be confused over an ending uh, for the month of january a connection could end abruptly and you're like what the hell like what's happening this person's gonna try to get back into your life like i said with reconciliation what you need to do is set boundaries here uh, gemini's okay there's a tower that's coming in that's in reverse when the tower is upright this means that things are unexpectedly happening it's without our control when the tower moment is in reverse here this means that you have the ability to create the shift and make the decision, which is why you're in your King of Swords energy here, okay? King of Swords is very intellectual, okay? They're smart, they're logical. Embrace your Queen of, Wands, Queen of Swords energy here, okay? I have Justice in Reverse as well. So you know you deserve better. This person knows it as well, all right? There's some shading that's going on. It could be also a friend here. I know this is a love reading. It doesn't always have to be romantic. But just be mindful of what you tell your friends. Just got to wear energy over here. I have the seven, the seven of pentacles and the seven of swords and the high priestess here. So with the tower showing up, being clarified with this, trust in yourself, trust in your higher self here, because you can easily deceive, deceive yourself by that voice in your head here. You know, the negative thoughts thinking that I'm never going to find love. I'm always attracting people from my past here. No, you can cut them off. You just got to make that decision too. And again, I just told Sagittarius, a loss is not a loss. It's a gain. It's a redirection here because you're going to start to manifest what you want in your life. And you see these ships over here. It's going to start coming in. But you have to take action here with your King, King of Wands energy and move forward. All right. This, if you're dealing with a fire sign, they're definitely, definitely, definitely lusting after you. And they miss you a lot. Okay, strong Sagittarius energy. What I'm getting is that I'm sorry. For some of them, they put you in a third party here. You're going to find this out for the month of January. But all this is doing is for you to drop this dead weight, 10 of wands in reverse here and find balance into your life. I didn't realize how bad I hurt you until now. Living a lie, not happy. Yeah, finding out the truth, crush me. Because you're going to find out. 
you're going to find out something and you're going to be able to adapt change and heal okay it's going to is you might get a um a shift in regards to your self image or confidence because you're, you're going to find out someone is dealing with somebody else here but again there's that egotistical i know you still have feelings for me da -da -da -da. like no Gemini. it's not the january <laughs> find your light again okay Someone is really frustrated that they cannot get back into your life. And for some of you Geminis, you know, you you, you have um, put your guard up, right? You know, this is a collective reading for all Geminis. And they're confused. They're, they're, they're stressed out. They're stressed out that you're moving forward and finding your happiness. And if you're having sleepless nights here, it's because this person is literally into your energy. You got to get grounded. Sage yourself. Work out. Do something to change your energy here, Um Geminis, I'm going to just get some advice from angels here. They're telling me to pull. I feel like Michael is trying to come in. Yeah, there's Michael. Strong commitment, intellectual, diligent. It's time to move quickly, Geminis. Choose logic over emotion. Sudden changes here, okay? So I have the page of pentacles here. Be clear. Be clear on what you want. I feel like sometimes when a king and a queen of swords comes out like this, it's a lot of arguing indirectly in regards to your future path. Again, you could be in a long-term commitment with someone right now. You want marriage. You want family. They can't give you that. Okay? You're, they're showing up as a page for some of you. So be clear on what you want. Be in your queen of swords energy and cut them off because literally once you do, I just told Sagittarius, you're going to find the love of your life. It's going to come in quickly. It could come in within the last two weeks of January, Gemini's, okay? So I know with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it could feel like you're losing everything with this person here, but you're literally um, reversing a karmic cycle once you set boundaries and make a decision and be clear on what you want. Because look at that, a beautiful emperor energy doesn't have to be male or female. Masculine energy he knows exactly what they want. It's going to come in. And this ex, this person is going to watch you be happy and move on. You definitely have to focus on healing your inner child as well, Gemini's, for some of you, and let go. Think about the path that you want to take regarding 2024 and don't have fear about it the stability the stability the love that you want can come in so stay positive here and find the light in your life instead of the darkness Gemini's, and you're gonna be all right okay i'm gonna leave it here guys have a wonderful week